He dons many hats, an award-winning serial entrepreneur, investor, engineer, author, and the first White House Presidential Innovation Fellow. Meet Carl Mehta, the CEO and founder of Edcast. Thank you, Carl, for joining us. Tell us about Code for India and Skill Up India programs. What are these initiatives and how does it help in inclusion? Well, sir, I started uh, this nonprofit in Silicon Valley called Code for India when I was working at the White House uh, about uh, two and a half years back, three years back. And the goal there is to bring together a community of techies, uh, both in India and the Indian, Indian origin uh, people worldwide, who can help in the development of India from a digital standpoint and uh, towards the bigger goal of nation building. And it kind of fits in very nicely with Prime Minister Modi's uh, call for digital India or even startup India, stand up India. And the way this kind of big development happens is when these visions have to be converted into grassroots movement. Mm -hmm. And the grassroots movement can happen only when people on the ground who has the talent and the experience and the technology, they start volunteering out of their goodness of their heart and they volunteer their time for the nation. So Code for India provides a platform for everyone to volunteer, uh, everyone to give, uh, donate their time and their talent, because all of us cannot wait for when we retire or when we become whatever, uh, you know, multimillionaire and you become a philanthropist. So this is about becoming philanthropist, giving back to the society at a very early age, just with your time and talent. So that's Code for India. Talking about your current venture, Edcas, tell us a little bit about the organization. Sure. So the vision for Edcast is to actually make everyone a lifelong learner. So we are now in a knowledge economy, and all the educational infrastructure um, was built during the industrial age, where you could go to school and college during the first 22, 24 years of your life, and you're expected to apply those skills for the rest of your life. But today with the rapid change in, in the economy and the technology and the fact that we moved from industrial economy to a knowledge economy, everyone needs to become a lifelong learner instead of being a front loading of the education. We have to make it spaced it throughout life. And that can only happen if we create a culture of lifelong learning. And if you think about the culture that we have today is this whole social networking driven culture where everyone, uh, you know, you have two billion people on Facebook, um, you have Instagram and LinkedIn and Twitter and all kinds of things. And people are wired into this behavior of uh, checking their social networks like four times a day. So Edcast's vision is to tap into that similar behavior, that similar um, social networking plumbing, but give them learning and knowledge and enriching their life so when you go to Edcast, it's basically a social learning network, um, leveraging the existing social networking uh, pro profiles. Right. You have been a serial entrepreneur. Take us through that journey. Well, um, I have been a beneficiary of a great ecosystem in Silicon Valley. So I've been there for about 20 years plus. And um, it's, uh, it's, it's helpful to build companies uh, where there is an ecosystem that already exists, which is very helpful. So I would say that uh, there's no special talent in me, but I'm lucky enough to get the help from a lot of people and the ecosystem. And um, what I'm seeing now that in India, it is starting to emerge, and especially here in Bangalore. Does Edcast have any plans for India? Absolutely. So. Well, India is a knowledge-hungry society. Um, you know, one, the, one of the most interesting thing, exciting thing about being in India, what I see is that everybody is hungry for knowledge. There's a thirst for knowledge. And uh, people want to learn. And there are not enough, you know, tools available for them, avenues available for them to learn. So um, we have pretty big plans for India. We are setting, we have an office in Mumbai, but we are setting up an office in Bangalore. Uh, I'm here to recruit a CEO for Edcast India, also a management team. Uh, we have several partners, um, you know, uh, local Indian companies as well as US companies which are here in India, they want to partner with us. Uh, so there's a lot of things moving and you're gonna hear a lot from us. Thanks a lot for joining us today. Thank you. But do you miss cricket? Do you miss the field? The you know, the stadium, the sounds, the traveling with the team, all that? 
Of course, I think uh, something which you've done for such a long time, you tend to miss it. But also, you need to understand that uh, there's going to be a time where it's going to come to an end. Um, and one of the things I think which every sports person, if, especially from a team sport, will always say is that we miss the traveling bit, we miss the, miss the banter, we miss the camaraderie, we miss all the fun which you have. Moving away from this trend, Nitin Kamath started Zerodha, a discount brokerage firm which charges a constant amount for each trade. Started five years ago, Zerodha is one of the largest brokerage firms in the country. 